Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and this is my reaction to Everton's 4-0 win against Gormahia, the African side playing a Premier League side for the first time in history. So a little bit of history was made at Goodison Park and uh, it was a 4-0 victory for Everton for the Sport Pesa Cup. We won a trophy. <laughs> so, so this is a a friendly scheduled by uh, Everton and their main sport shirt sponsor, Sport Pesa. And um, it was supposed to be in the preseason, but I think due to scheduling problems, it was moved to now. And with everyone else in the Champions League, we had a friendly against uh, an African side, which, you know, for, for what it was as a match, I was a bit surprised with the turnout for Goodison Park uh, at, inside inside the stadium. It was It was... Quite a sight to see. I, I saw that uh, the team was pricing tickets really cheap, so people could go out for a, for an evening. And very underrated, but thank you to the club. Thank you to Sport Pesa for, at least outside Africa in the UK, for putting the game on YouTube. Um, that That's great. I mean, uh, during the preseason, the games were behind the paywall on Everton's website, and I was just hoping, why not? use youtube you know put the sponsors around the advertising boards and just use youtube as a platform to distribute these games and it was great it was good able being able to watch games like this and um a little note about the visitors i appreciate how they came to play um usually when you have these big clubs facing um you know these smaller clubs who are in terms of talent and resources not really on the same level you usually see uh, the opposition side just trying to hoof balls down the field play long balls forward but um just as yakubu who was doing uh color commentary kept saying he kept hammering home the point that these guys they like playing on the ground you know they like passing the ball around and moving and um it was a uh, <laughs> it was good to see i mean um they had a few real uh chance only a few real chances in the game not nothing really threatening the goalkeeper um but it it was you know I, it was a good to see it was a good exercise for uh for people who are not who are, haven't been able to uh crack the lineup and who haven't been able to get games um like for everton uh, martin stecklenberg started at goal which again i i'm i'm of the opinion that um if if you have a backup goalkeeper like that why not just play Joe virginia the the whole 90 minutes i know he came on at halftime but Joe virginia is going to be here for the long term and it's good to see what he has to prove, um, or what he has to show as well, um, whether he can, you know, challenge uh, Jordan Pickford for a number one, or he can platoon for a number one if ever anything should happen. Um, but Stecklenberg started at goal, and uh, Leighton Baines was supposed to start at left back, but right, and he was announced on um, on the social media sites as the starting left back. But for some reason, he was a late scratch. Benny Baniga may get the start. Uh, it's good to see him back. I know he got injured in the preseason and hasn't been able to feature. Um, Phil Jagielka got his, uh, another game under his belt. I think it's the first time he's played since, um, since the opening game where he got that red card. So, and Yerimina made his full debut and he looked good. Um, he went forward like a couple of times, um, but he was clean. He was always the target on set pieces. He was found a few times, but I think during one he was, uh, he was all no he wasn't offside but there was a foul in the box and then the other the keeper was able to save it but um he looks a threat um off of set pieces our set piece delivery today wasn't that great but um it's good to see and it's very intriguing how uh he'll perform on sunday when he plays against chelsea and at right back was mason holgate i know john joe kenny is injured but holgate finally gets another game under his belt and it's been a while since He's been in the side as well. And it looked like uh, we aligned in a 4-4-2. Uh, in the center of the midfield was Morgan Schneiderlin. He hasn't been, again, he hasn't been in the lineup in a while. And alongside him was Kieran Dowell. Uh, no, 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 no. Kieran Dowell played on the right, which uh, kind of surprised me as well. Who was? It was Tom Davies. Tom Davies, um, once again, um, was able to get a start alongside Schneiderlin. And Lookman on the left. And to me, Lookman was the man of the match. He he was on set piece delivery. He made a lot of great runs down the left side, a lot of key passes. Um, he was able to score a goal off of a, an assist by Cenk Tosin, who did start up front with Calvert Lewin. Um, and it was kind of disappointing. If if something that uh, I would give this game, I wanted to see Tosin score. I want to see him scoring. 
um, getting his confidence up. But he wasn't able to score. He did get an assist, um, tried to chase the game a few times. Um, Calvert-Lewin had the good through ball that set Tosin up for the assist to, to, uh, to Lookman. And he looked great as well. He was the main creator down the middle. I'm um, trying to get uh, through balls into the strikers. And um, yeah, Tosin was great. I, I, I can't remember the second goal. Oh, the second goal was from Kieran Dahl. What a strike um, from the right side. He just kept continuing his run and put it under the keeper. And the keeper could have done better, but it, it was a goal. <laughs> and the two other goals were late into the match. Uh, Broadbend off a goal, uh, got a goal. Off a cross from, I can't exactly remember who, but it was very late in the match. And Omar Nias, who came on, scored a fourth, and that's all she wrote. It was good seeing these guys being able to uh, implement Marco Silva's game plan. And if you think about it, aside from uh, Yeri Mina and a few others, most of these were starting um, for us last season in the Premier League. And, and again, to see a team essentially this unchanged from last season in terms of this lineup play a completely different style to what we saw last year under uh, Sam Allardyce. It, it's night and day. And if, if, if there was one thing I really wanted to see off a friendly like this is, could these players who are not starting, who are on the fringes of being in the squad, could they actually implement uh, the style that Marco Silva wants? And for the most part, it's, you know, Everton pressed a lot. That's how we able to get, that's how we were able to get the ball back for a few of the goals. And it, it, it's nice to see that there is competition for places among the lineup. And um, out of everyone, I think uh, Lookman is probably uh, in, should be in contention for a start. And I'm not saying that uh, Bernard or Walcott are terrible, but there is competition behind them. And it, it's really good to see. So Sport pays a trophy, goes to Everton. Um, it was a good game by Gormahia, but... Let's face it, the class was just too much in the end, and as well as the fitness. But um, it, sure, it's great for them being able to visit a stadium like this in England, see our facilities at Finch Farm, and play on a beautiful field at Goodison Park. Um, but it was a good win for Everton, a good game, good competition by the by the opposition, and uh, we have Chelsea on Sunday, so that's that's going to be very intriguing. So let me know your thoughts in the game, like, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you.